What's up guys? It has been a long time. I have been crazy busy. This whole YouTube thing I have sucked at, but I want to get back into it. Even though I got 50 million things going on, I'm going to try and stay consistent, especially for the duration of this prep. Um, I have a my first men's physique show coming up four and a half weeks out. Whereas my coach says, F that. We got two and a half weeks because we're going to peak you early and then we got room to play a little bit and fill out. So I'm pretty lean right now. I'm going to go into this show and then I'm going to turn around, do the Summer Shredding Classic in Houston, Texas on June 15th after that. So I got May 12th, June 15th. I do my best to stay in shape for July 1st weekend. We got a little family thing going on at the lake like we always do. I'm going to try and stay peaked for this whole summer period and then I'm gonna go into a lean bulk so that being said my training is insane right now training seven days a week training with a lot of frequency and a decent amount of volume right now but my frequency is the key and that I can't get across to you is the key to muscle growth of as, as even blah, 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 blah. Even if you're enhanced, you're going to see more muscle gains. If you, instead of blast a muscle part on one day, you spread it out, maybe cut the volume in half, do one on Monday and one on Thursday, and you're going to see big gains from that. So today, I have, I believe, arms, and I'm going to ha hit abs. Abs is another thing I've turned the frequency up on. Thanks to Coach Arya. He's been uh, my coach through this prep. Arya Safai check him out he competes in the olympia dude is amazing natural athlete you'll never see anyone who is bigger and leaner that is a natural athlete it's insane so anyway my goal here i'll show you some of my training maybe a little bit it's kind of hard because it's kind of busy at this gym but do my best to show you some and then i'm going to show you what i am eating so I'm going through on my Instagram story and showing right now, but what I want to do is, since I eat the same thing every day basically right now, is show you what I will eat first thing in the morning. I'll show you tomorrow morning, but we're gonna pick up. I'm gonna do this workout, hit meal two, and then from then on. So stay tuned.
I always make sure I do to track all my workouts by date. I have my nine day split. So I just repeat it as soon as it's over. Not limited to one week, it just keeps rolling over. Make sure you do that. Because even when you're cutting, you want to maintain your strength and kind of keep your muscle. So do that. Things you do for bodybuilding. Hello guys. As you saw, I just went tanning. I know you don't really have to tan because I'm gonna get a spray tan anyway, but I want a little bit more of a base other than going from straight Casper to like African-American. So I'm trying to build a little bit more of a base, just tanning a little bit. <clears throat> but anyway, heading to the grocery store real quick. I gotta pick up some more veggies. Uh, coach wants me to put on one serving of vegetable a day uh, to what I already have. I'm gonna go ahead and do Brussels sprouts because I have asparagus already and green beans, which you will see later, but I am a fan of Brussels sprouts. I'm gonna throw those in there, so I'm gonna go grab some right now. I go with frozen just because it's easier, more convenient. You can do fresh though, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna give me some mashed cauliflower too, try it out, throw it in for a meal because I just cut a uh, carb out of one of my meals, so I'm gonna try it in its place. Oh my gosh, I keep dropping. Check out the mom wagon in all her glory. Hey boys. Hey boys. Good boys. Good boys. Huh? So we just moved into this place, I don't know, three weeks ago. It's still kind of a mess, not quite done unpacking yet but we're getting there and we've been very busy so it's all good but i'm about to show you my post-workout meal but before i did that i want to show you the sick bag shout out to six pack bags he sent me this bag yesterday um pretty excited to use it and luckily the tupperware containers that i have all fit in there and because i have a crap ton of them so i am very excited about that so my next meal, oops, sorry about that. My next meal, shoot, this lighting sucks. Okay, hopefully that's a little better. We are looking at six ounces of chicken breast. I got 135 grams of asparagus and about five ounces of rice. Now, normally I am not this strict with my, especially vegetables. Usually I just kind of throw in there about a cup. But normally I'm not prepping for a men's physique bodybuilding show. So right now it is crunch time. Like I said, two and a half weeks is, is what I'm shooting for. And then I'll work on the next goal as far as being mentally prepared. Something else I do add a little bit of is some Walden Farms. I'm going to throw some of this Italian just a little bit. Walden Farms have been kind of a lifesaver because it's zero and everything. Is it the best thing for you? Maybe not, but just a little bit of, like right now my goal is not health, it's aesthetics. And I know that's bad to say, but mentally I need a little bit more flavor to my food just to keep this thing going. But anyway, stay tuned for my next meal. What's up guys? So one thing I need to start really getting working on is my posing. So I FaceTimed um, Arya last night. Went through a basic routine. It's still pretty clunky. I have not refined it by any means. So take, you know, this look with a grain of salt. And like I said, it'll be much better here in the next couple weeks, but I'm gonna start practicing every day. So just wanted to show you my basic uh, um, front pose and side pose. Ugh. And sorry about the angle, it's not the best. 
right? Sorry, it's not really that angled up. Hang on. Oh, man. And something... <laughs> so I'm a pretty hairy dude. I shaved and I have all these nasty ingrown hairs all over. It's disgusting. So if anyone has any tips about ingrown hairs, who's done bodybuilding or who needs to shave like this, let me know because that's nasty and it's starting to be annoying. I was just looking at that, man. My my left lat, for whatever reason, is like non-existent. So it's there, it's just I suck at activating it. So it's something I gotta work on, like I said. You know, it'll improve. I just wanted to throw it out there and you know, be transparent with you guys. But I'm about to shower, clean this mess of an apartment up a little bit and uh, head to work after that, so stay tuned. Alright guys, there's my next meal. I got four ounces of white rice, four ounces of 96.4 lean ground beef, and then I have half an ounce of cashews. It's probably my favorite meal just because of the ground beef is excellent. I love it. So, until my next meal. Alright guys, so we got five ounces of 99.1 lean ground turkey, very lean, or very lean rather, so therefore it's pretty dry, so I got a little Walded Farms ranch on there, put through a little ranch on here too. We got, um, I think we got five ounces of uh, red potato, and that is it. Alright guys, so I just got out of work, and I am about to eat my last meal. We're looking at five ounces of chicken breast about 130 grams of green beans that is it and usually that's what i eat before my cardio which i am going to do in a little bit but first i'm going to go pick something up for savannah i'm going to surprise her with something because right now the wife and kids are down at families for the whole week and savannah has been a trooper this prep and I've been having a lot of stuff with business, work. So I've been very detached and it's been really hard and so I just wanted to appreciate her a little bit and get her a little surprise. So I will show you shortly what it is. What's up guys? So I just got back from my run. It's currently 9.30, pretty tired, legs are drained, but getting this last meal in and I'm starving. Got about seven ounces of egg whites with a little bit of seasoning about 130 grams of brussels sprouts and then an ounce of cashews and that will do it for today and like i said i will show tomorrow's morning i will show my first meal um for the day tomorrow morning and that'll conclude the video So correction, I'm actually doing a tablespoon cookies and cream fluff butter because I am a little bit low in overall calories and really everything, uh, mainly fat. So that's why I'm going with this. Didn't feel like doing uh, peanut butter, doing the fluff butter. So. What's up guys? <clears throat> it's the 13th. Gonna do my way in. I'm pretty lean, so we'll see where I'm at. I'm sorry about my crazy bed head. Way in, not that. Good. It's whatever. It's 160. I'm sorry. It's 196.2. 
Thought it was gonna be my leanest yet today, but it is not. I'm feeling pretty lean though. But, I don't know, it's whatever, man. It's just, some days you carry a little bit extra water and some days there's really nothing you can do about it. It is what it is, so. Typically, I eat my first meal, then I go work out. What I'm gonna do this morning is go straight into my my run and I'm gonna work out later today. <clears throat> so that first workout, I'm sorry, that first meal is gonna look a little bit different. So I'm gonna show you what it normally is and what it is today. What up guys? So I already ate breakfast. It's a little bit later in the day. I uh, didn't mention what I had for breakfast yesterday, so I'm gonna do that now. Um, what I normally do, first thing is 10 ounces of egg whites. Uh, just put some seasoning in there, nothing extra. And then I like the cream of wheat packets for my carb source. I do about 45 to 50 grams, give or take. Um, you can do oats. I just am kind of burnt out on oats. I'll do the cream of wheat, put a little bit of the Walden Farms caramel in there, and it's on point. So my macros yesterday with all of that combined, I was at around 2,000 calories. Uh, 220 grams of protein, about 45 grams of fat, and then my carbs were, I think, right at 180, give or take, like I said. It's all in my fitness pal, so it's within the, um, you know, room for error. But anyway, that's it. I appreciate you guys watching. Please hit the like and subscribe button. Follow my journey. I'm going to try and upload more, like I said, take you through this men's physique prep for the rest of the way about four weeks out, so thanks for watching.